Right, so viewers, that that eleven point gap that I was talking about in the last episode, we've only played two games in. It's now six points. Let's go and see if we can put more of a dent in it, eh? G'day viewers, welcome back to Pennies to Pounds Season 8, Episode 5 here. My name's Wallace, but most people call me Wally. Before we go any further, thank you all for coming back to the channel. I know I've got a few regular viewers here that really follow this every time I upload an episode. Thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel so you and hitting the notification bell so you get alerted every time I drop an upload. I do regular uploads Saturday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I occasionally do the odd extra episode, so... Stay tuned and find out. So how have we been going? Well, we only played the two games, like I said in the intro, since we last saw you. But everyone else in front of us seems to be bottling it. It's good that it's not us, the team that are bottling it for a change. That is excellent. So we're eighth on the table. We're only six points behind St. Neots there. So today we play Hanwell, who are 14th on the table. I thought they were a bit higher up. To be fair, and Stratford, uh, the team that we knocked out of the cup. Last season, the two games that you missed, we beat Cambridge there at the top of the table at the time. We beat them 1-0. That was a good little grind out. And uh, we were a bit leaky against Colville, unfortunately, at the back. But we still managed to scrap out a 3-2 victory. Um, the Our fate's in our... Well, our fate's not in our hands. We needed teams above us to lose. But all we can do is keep winning. So we go into the match here with probably not many changes from last time. We are going to go out and attack against Hanwell. Selection-wise, we've got a few minor tweaks here. Uh, I've brought Richards in on the right-hand side for Dixon. Both of them up again, down again with their form. But Richards gets a nod today due to a couple of quiet ones from Dixon in the previous couple of games. And Hatfield comes into the centre of the park there. So... Overall, it's Gratorix in goal, A. Johnson, K. Wood, Dong, and Richards as the back four. H. Johnson and Willie Hatfield in the centre of the park. A Jimmy Russell also into the side for my star signing, Frankie Whitaker. Uh, Frankie Whitaker's had a really poor run of form here. As you can see, he hasn't really kicked on in the second half of the season like he started in the first half of the season. Chubb on the right wing has been the revelation. Ten assists for us that he has really nailed down that spot ahead of John Cocker Rigby. And Wood and Bang up front. Wood continues to edge out Harnwell. Harnwell not really taking the opportunities to be given off the bench. And like I said, as much as he is the most loved player at the football club is club legend or club, club icon status, whichever one is the the higher. He's it. He, he's, he's more loved at the club than me. So I do need to be careful how I treat um, Harnwell. I'd really like to see him go on and get a coaching ticket and we'll put him on the coaching staff. That, that would be ideal. But I think he's a bit young for that. He's going to want to play some football anyway. We're going to throw some encouragement here because... We do, and that's how we roll around here. You know that early encouragement, right? Johnson, oh, gives the ball straight to Murphy. The bleeding gums, Murphy now down the left. Oh, that's a beautiful chip to Tucker Dixon, and there's the curse of the double barrel name again, Tyrone Tucker Dixon. I'll be having a look at him. Double barrel name, Anna Dixon. He needs he needs to come and play for us. Murphy down the flank here. He's just that. That's just a lovely break here from from Hanwell. And Tucker Dixon makes no mistake here. Not a good start for us. I've picked up our form over the last was seven games unbeaten now. And we would go and do that. Here we go. Here's the danger man, Anthony Chubb. Chubb passed his player. Chubb back to Willie Hatfield. Willie Hatfield doesn't have the pace. To, oh, geez, he's caught out there for Grazinho. Grazinho now back to Imre. Uh, that was... Is what I'm worried about with Willie Hatfield is that, that stuff like that's going to happen. Gratorix cleans that one up nicely, though. But it's no different to playing Twig and Berries there. He's no faster or slower. Chubb now. Chubb. Can Chubb do something here? Richards pushes up. Good play from Richards here. Finds Jimmy Russell. And Jimmy Russell repays my faith in giving him a start. Finds the goal. Oh, that's what I like to see, boys. A bit of fighting spirit from the club. None of these massive capitulations or big comebacks. This is what we want to see. That's a great ball from Chubb. And it's an even better finish from Jimmy Russell. And it's one all here. 
away to Hanwell. Hanwell, sorry. Hanwell, Hanwell. Always do that. Whenever we play these guys, getting mixed up with my player. So do I, I'm still not sure how well, well, if I think how well. <laughs> I'm still not sure that we can make the playoffs. But like I said, all we can do is keep winning games here. I'd be really quite proud of the boys that I run a form towards the end of the season here. That's a goal, is it? Oh, no. Gratorix gets down and knocks it away. My worry is next season, if we do get promoted, is how much money is the board going to give me to navigate um, one of the, the the Vanarama, North or South, whichever one we go in. Wood doesn't quite get there. Tucker Dixon runs back. It is starting to get difficult to find players that meet the naming convention and are of any quality whatsoever. But, like I said, it, 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 it's League 2 or bust before FM 22, guys. So, that is the goal. Uh, we have been the better team, I think. Um, K Wood having a bad one. He's actually, since I've given him Nuttall's old spot as the covering defender, he's actually done quite well. Rightio. We're up our end of the park here. Hatfield. This is what I've been waiting for all season. Willie Hatfield. Yes. He's got his 17 free kicks. I knew as soon as I saw him stand over one, he would nail it. And the ball man himself, Willie Hatfield, sticks it in the goal for Peniston. And it's a 2-1 lead. That's what we want to see, boys. Now we're down the other end. Ah, Han will going to respond just as quickly to us. Yep, they are. Ian Richards. They're, 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 there's Richards and Dixons all over the place in their team. Everyone's getting on board our naming convention here, it seems. Is Football Manager telling me that I need to do another Peniston save next season? Or well, well, in Football Manager 22? That is the thing. I've got a few eyes, ideas for FM 22. Um, I kind of want to make a serious Peniston run instead of doing the meme team and do a meme team somewhere else. But we'll see. We'll have a think about it. Bleeding Gums Murphy finds Tucker Dixon and then we're just outplayed there. Absolutely outplayed by... A team below us on the ladder, but perhaps possessing a bit more skill on the ball here. This is a great ball from Armstrong, is it? Yeah. Murphy puts a lovely one through to Tucker Dixon, and we've just... Who's that? That's Kay Wood. Kay Wood's just not marked him there. I'm going to drag him for that, I think. Kay Wood. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. He comes off. Uh, Cummings goes on there instead. Or is Cummings come on for Johnson? No, Cummings comes on there. See you later, Kaywood. That that was terrible. I'm dragging you for that mistake. Don't normally drag players for mistakes, but that was terrible. Dave Wood just not up to it today. Do we bring Hamwell along? And Harry Johnson having a shitter as well. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do? Who's on the bench? Right here, I'm going to bring Hamwell up. Hanwell on up front and give him a chance here. And we are we're going to bring on Dixon for Henry Johnson. And we're, we're going to see how this goes. We're going to pump the fist. Go on, boys. And see if we can peg this goal back. It's disappointing to blow a 2-1 lead here. Rightio. Jay Richards wants Chubb. Chubb to bang. He'll bang that in. Oh, he's hit the post. And Barber clears the danger for Hanwell. And this could be the end of our winning run. And realistic, if we lose this, this is our chances of moving up the ladder gone. We're going to demand a bit more from the boys here. And we're going to go very attacking. And we're going to see if we can peg this one back. Dong having a rare poor game. Dong's been the surprise packet for me this year. I really didn't expect Dong to get much football. Uh, he's rarely looked out of place. There's a couple of times where I thought, oh, geez, you're a bit slow, son. But... And But he's just given officers so much in the air. But that is it. To be fair, that's the end of the winning run. And to be fair, I think we've lost to the better side. Yeah. Jimmy Russell, good. Hatfield, good. But that's the goal. Dixon, poor off the bench. Richards, good. Did he justify his selection? Johnson, the cards probably brought him down there. But if Bang doesn't bang it off the post there, it's a draw. And we've still got our heads held high. Uh, yeah, I'm going to point the finger and say I'm not happy. I'm going to point the finger and say I'm not happy. We're, we're high on the ladder here, guys, and we should be winning games like this. Anyway, 
onwards and upwards, and we'll see you for the Stratford game. Right, no changes going in against Stratford, guys. We're playing the a little bit more defensive tactic. We're going to go with the counter-attack style of play, even though it's at home and we're in a similar position on the ladder. I just think that I just want to be that, that, that tiny little bit safer at the back, and I don't want to see us losing the ball, knocking it about like we did last game against these guys. We really need these points. Uh, the results kind of went our way. We were at six points off the playoffs. We're still only seven off. The team just outside the playoff spots is Stratford. So if we win Strat against Stratford, we're, we're doing the best we can. So we go in. Gratorix and goal. Uh, back four of A. Johnson, K. Wood, Dong, Richards, H. Johnson and Hatfield in the center of the park. Jimmy Russell gets another start on the wing ahead of Whitaker. Chubb on the right. And bang. And Wood up the front. Nearly dropped Wood for Harnwell, but... Got to show a bit of faith. He only had the one bad game, Wood. Says me, who dragged K. Wood last game for, for one mistake. To be fair, that was a pretty poor error. It was a pretty poor error. Daniil. Okay. Daniil Richards. Now, he's someone I really want to have a look at. Anyway, let's get in there. Let's do the whole underdog thing. That seems to rev the boys up nicely. Uh, let's get this right. Come on. Oh. You would think by the end of FM21, I would have learned not to click the wrong button. Having said that, I've been playing Dota for years, and I still click the wrong button on that game all the freaking time. Good head away there by Richards. Anthony Chubb with the ball now. The danger man, Henry Johnson. What can Henry do here? Henry lofts the ball forward, and Bang gets onto it, and Bang bangs it in. There's a mistake from the Stratford defense there, and Bang gets into the channel between the two defenders. And he makes no mistake, you and Bang. He's been banging them in like that all year. And it continues here against Stratford here at the Memorial Ground. And guess what, guys? It's pissing down in Peniston yet again. Yet again. No wonder our ground is always in such poor condition. The board still won't relay the pitch, by the way. It is a big worry how much the board will fund me if we do get promoted. I just think... I talk about our players finding our level. Have we found our level as a club? Oh, that's a great save. Jeez, I'd like to have a look at that again when I cut the video because that's that that, that was just amazing. And I think it was Johnson heading it off the line, to be fair, not Gratorix. Yeah, anyway, we're gonna throw out some more encouragement here. You can't encourage us for a goal up. Yeah, that's that's what Wood thinks. No, right, North Ferriby go 2-0 up here. Where's the live ladder here? Uh, oh, we, 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 need, we need Russell to lose. We want Russell Olympic to lose here. They're killing us on XG, but like I said, we're, we're going for a, a bit more of a defensively together approach to this one. And it seems to be paying off thus far. Let's see if the boys think it's a good idea. Johnson wants to come off. We'll wait for Sadie, the cleaning lady, to put the ball in first. H. Johnson knocks it away, but only as far as Ashcroft. Ashcroft. D. Wood gets the ball. Great play by D. Wood there. Oh, but it comes back to Stratford, and we're unorganized at the back. No, we're not. Hugel down to Mustachi, and he's offside. Surely. Surely. Yes, Osborne's offside. Surely, right. There. Let's have a look at Johnson here. No, he's, he's coming good. We'll, we'll leave him for a minute. Uh, it's just a gash leg, but we can play him through that. But I think we're going to bring him off for form reasons now. Oh, 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 Willie Hatfield not having a good one. Uh, it's a no-brainer for Ed Jobs there. Ed Jobs gone quiet towards the end of the season. Very disappointing here. Jimmy Russell comes off for Frank Whitaker. And yeah, like I said, it's Keaton Wood again playing badly. Hmm. Do I leave Johnson out there and throw Cummings on as a centre back? Yeah, I think I might. I think I might. I haven't left myself many defensive options there, have I? No, I haven't. He's got on a card as well. Yeah, that's enough reason to bring him off. Off you come. Cummings goes on instead. Pump the fists. Get him out there. And hopefully we can hold on to this lead at the very least. An insurance goal now would be a lovely. Thank you, gentlemen. So the next episode will be the last two games of the season, regardless of how things go. Um, I think it's going to take that long for us to catch up to the playoff spots. Oh, Sadie off the bar. I think it's going to take us that long to catch up to the playoff spots anyway, so I don't think you'll miss much in between. And like I said, i got to keep this moving because FM22 beckons. 
Leatherland with a good save there. He goes long. But Johnson cleans it up. I've got a couple of guys on trial that look all right. And I'm expecting the youth intake soon. So we'll see what we get from there. Like I said, that's a bit of a lottery of the youth intake. Oh, Bang tries to get onto that one. But he doesn't have that much pace. Lovelock. Ashcroft. Hugo. Hugo beat in the air by Dong. Sadie the cleaning lady again. Sadie the cleaning lady over the bar. He's a bit of a drama, Sadie the cleaning lady, causing us all sorts of problems at the back. Trying to take us to the cleaners, Sadie. Hunter nods the ball down for Osborne. Oh, Osborne beats Johnson there. It's a... Oh, no. No, no. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Ever you needed a save one, it's right now, buddy. Hugel, Jake Torex, you bloody legend. Oh, big Jakey. Jeez, I go on about Anthony giving me a chub, but big Jake, wow. Gatorex again. How, how good is Jake Gatorex, boys and girls? He's, he's probably my favorite player in the team, to be fair. Oh. Sadie, the cleaning lady. Oh, God, attacking, please, gentlemen. Oh, heartbreak here at the Memorial Ground. Sadie plays the one-two with Osborne here, and that, to be fair, is a world-class strike <laughs> from uh, a pub league player. Oh, no. And I, th I think that's it, guys. I think that's it. Let's go very attacking for the last couple of minutes. That's that's more direct, more expressive. Hit early crosses, shoot on sight. Thank you, gentlemen. But to no avail, I don't think. To no avail? Yeah. Oh, I was so hopeful. Ed Jobs and, and Hatfield really, really let us down in the center of the park today. Wood, after a run of strong form in the side, Keaton Wood has a couple of bad ones in a row. And, yeah. Oh, what a disappointing episode, boys and girls. What a disappointing episode. Um, yeah, I am going to go over the unlucky here because that last goal. Oh, that last goal. I don't know. I don't know. Right, when do we come back? To, oh, we know when we're coming back to you. We're coming back to you for the last two games of the season. North Ferriby. Again, we'll feature uh, ancient rivals now, North Ferriby. Let's just have a look here. I can't remember the other team we're playing. It's um, That's all right, low stuff. North Ferriby and low stuff in a couple of games' time. Well, mathematically, we're not out of it yet, but wow. We just made it very hard for ourselves. Well, thank you, everyone, for your ongoing support. Don't forget to leave a like. We'll be back to you in a couple of days with the conclusion of the season. Are we going to make the playoffs? Highly unlikely, but we're still in with the chance. My name's Wales. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.